Ever since the latest trailer of The Little Mermaid released, I've been attempting to decide if I should say something about it. Should I voice my thoughts or just let it be? Will my words even add something to the vast body of trailer reactions already present on YouTube? I went online to watch a few of those reactions. The ones I watched were largely positive, pointing out the errors or jarring effects here and there, but praising it for its potential nonetheless. Like them, I think the movie has a great potential too. I have always been in love with Ariel's character and her arc with Ursula is way too much pretty for me. And while the trailer may be nice in many ways, I do want to talk about a major criticism against Ariel's story here, which I'm worried is going to make things worse after watching the trailer. Maybe just my intuitions and maybe not. Hey everyone, this is Ritika. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I take a look at the latest trailer of Disney's live-action remake of The Little Mermaid. And while I have a lot of issues with its visuals and jarringly real-life characters, the video will focus on one small aspect of the trailer, which may or may not be that small after all. At least, I think so. Once again, may be wrong. Despite that, I hope you enjoy watching today's video. Please like, subscribe and share if you do. Thank you so much. For multiple years now, I've been trying to defend the story of the Little Mermaid. It was my first video on YouTube too. And there's a reason for that. Ariel's character has always given me hope. Needless to say, it is one of my favorite Disney movies too. While she's often criticized for being that girl who gives up everything that makes her who she is for a guy she barely knows, I find the story to be a little different. I agree that Eric was part of the reason why she gave up her fins and her voice, but I also think it was a lot more than that. The movie spent a lot of time establishing that she wanted to gain something more from her life. Her first introduction to us is as an explorer as well. So, yes, Eric was a part of why she did what she did, but her actual wants laid somewhere else. Her song, her I want song, the song that defines her and sets up the context of the movie, is about being a part of that world. The world where she believes people don't reprimand their orders. I'm sorry, totally don't deaf, very bad voice, please ignore that. But anyhow... That is the idea that she has about the human world. And given that she's a mermaid who has to live under a lot of restrictions, this image appeals to her. She's tired of being told what to do and wants to take her life in her own hands, which she does too with her deal with Ursula. She could have done something much better, of course. But then she also reacted out of the choices she had. She didn't think she had any other option than to run away from a household of restrictions. That world that she sings about is to her a life of freedom, one where she can read and write and sing and dance and walk and do everything away from the reprimanding gaze of the one person who was supposed to understand her. Sure, the other version of the song is renamed to part of your world, but that version happens after she saves and by extension meets Eric. Part of that world, on the other hand, happens before she's even laid her eyes on him. She's just excited about the human world in this moment. Now, I won't go deeper into this because I have already made a 10 minute long video on that. But there is still a reason behind this long, 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 long rant, which I intend to explore here. Ariel, for me, represents this character who wants something more out of her life than what she's given. The Ariel I saw in this trailer, however, did not appear to be like that. She may still want something more out of her life, but she doesn't sing part of that world anymore. She sings part of your world. And it is very evident that she sings it for Eric. I agree that the trailer focused on him enough to not let him be a side character anymore, which is another criticism that some of these movies face. Lord knows have I criticized Snow White and the Seven Dwarves enough for that. But at the same time, this is not his story. This is hers. The movie is titled The Little Mermaid and not The Little Mermaid and Prince Eric. To add to that, only one of the few dialogues in the trailer that we heard 
suggest anything about going to the surface world except from being with Eric. The one time that Triton's character says, This obsession with humans has to stop. And that's it. That's all the reference of her wanting to be a human apart from being with Eric. I wouldn't be surprised, I guess, if they turned The Little Mermaid from a story of self-discovery to a love story. Not that there's anything wrong with love stories. I have watched enough of them in my life too. But just sometimes if those love stories are at the cost of taking the essence out of a character, then I don't think I'll quite like them. And that's why I also don't like this trailer. With its over-the-top focus on Eric and her rebellion towards her father, specifically her rebellion towards her father, I'm worried this trailer projects a very superficial image of the Little Mermaid. And as someone who's always loved the character in the story and the film, I sort of am a little horrified at that idea. I guess on that note, that's also it from me today. I don't have a lot more to add. I would love to hear your thoughts on the trailer or on the upcoming movie though. Uh, I found the trailer apart from this situation a little strange. I mean the visuals, I don't think I quite adored them. I think when I saw Sebastian, I was a little surprised. I mean, uh, I have always known that he was a crab. But I guess I've also always seen him as this hugely expression expressionist character that I'd forgotten he was actually a crab. So that was reality hitting me. And he looked a little weird. So I don't know how that is going to work out in this fantasy slash period drama slash realistic world that they're trying to create. But hey, they know better, I guess. Anyhow, I would love to read what you have to say in the comments below. And maybe we can chat. Please like, subscribe and share the video if you think it adds any value to the criticism towards The Little Mermaid. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, this is Ritika signing off for today.